Hello and welcome. I'm Dom Hale for Australia's Mining Monthly and Mining Magazine. I'm here today with Ella Kashi, Global Principal Mining Consultant at Schneider Electric. Schneider Electric drives drip digital transformation through smart electrification, automation, and AI-enabled IoT solutions. Today, Ella will share how Schneider Electric is powering the shift to zero emission mines with renewable energy and advanced electrification solutions. Ella, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Same here. Thanks for having me. Now, to kick things off, what does the electric mine concept mean to you? And how is Schneider Electric helping to make it a reality today? All right, really good question to start with. To me, an electric mine uh, symbolizes a transformative shift towards the zero emission, digitally integrated mining operations powered by renewable energy sources. Schneider Electric supports this vision by providing the comprehensive electrical infrastructure, advanced microgrid solutions, digital energy management system, and integrated power and automation uh, through our uh, ecostructure platform that I think most of the min miners, they are familiar with this platform. By enabling real-time visibility and optimized control of the energy usage, we help our mining clients reduce definitely the carbon footprint and operational costs and making the electric mine concept achievable right today. Okay, so what are the key efficiencies that Schneider Electric delivers to mining clients and how do they drive electrification forward? Mm -hmm. I can categorize these efficiencies to four main categories, if you like. And the first one is how we integrate the energy and automation domains as we explained through our power and process vision. We are um, from the very earliest stages from design and we are to operate and maintain, we are looking after the integrated operations management. The second one is uh, the technology. We are we are a technology vendor that enables clients all the way from the end point, which is the asset level to the cloud level. We have many years uh, of experience in cloud solutions, and we are well familiar with its benefits, challenges, and limitations. And also, we have solutions on prem for our clients that they are not ready or willing to go on the cloud solutions. Um, also, we can offer support across the uh, entire life cycle and through our open through our open uh, platform strategy. We aim to do this for small and local as well as for our large clients. We care about the electro intensive industries like mining and care to transform them uh, long into the future, helping the lower their scope one scope two and scope three uh, carbon uh, emissions. That being said, we supporting mining industry on a series of, I call them buckets, energy efficiency, process efficiency, carbon efficiency, and uh, resource innovation. Energy efficiency involves digitally optimizing energy usage across mining operation to lower overall consumption. Process efficiency means enhancing productivity through automated and digitally integrated processes by reducing the operational bottlenecks for sure. And carbon uh, efficiency doesn't need to be explained definitely as a big outcome of the energy and process efficiency. And the last but not least, resource innovation introduce new sustainable technologies such as renewables, microgrids, battery storage, and accelerating the shift to a fully electric mine. Well, thank you for that. Now, you mentioned emissions. Scope 1, 2, and 3 emissions are clearly crucial for mining. How is Schneider Electric tackling reductions across these scopes, especially for energy-intensive operations? Mm. Yeah, very good question, because it's all about that, how Schneider vision is aligned with uh, what our clients want. And definitely scope one to scope three, they are the areas that uh, these days makes miners to think about how they need to change their current operations. When it comes to scope one emission, 
we are supporting the process of electrifying the heavy equipments and vehicles that they are traditionally powered by diesel. For scope two emissions, we integrate renewable energy sources and advanced storage solutions into mining operations, significantly decreasing the use of the fossil-based grid power. And regarding the scope three, we engage actively in uh, promoting circular economy practices, recycling initiatives, and a sustainable uh, supply chain management. Our comprehensive approach addresses emission holistically, ensuring a robust and sustainable reduction across all operational and indirect emissions. It's good to mention that uh, there is a... a big program that is running in Schneider, which is kicked off since 2024. We call it materials, materialized program. So what is included in this materialized program? There are uh, three main areas that we are focusing through this program. Uh, the materialized is leading the critical resource and material uh, companies to reduce supply chain emission by gu guiding suppliers to understand and implement the carbonization strategies. The second uh, area that we are focusing, we are leveraging a a Schneider sustainability business advisory expert uh, through this program that will help the suppliers uh, participate in utility scale and renewable power purchase agreements. And the last one is uh, decarbonizing material. Materialized will offer um, emission reduction opportunities to broader uh, value chain and facility the, facilitate the um, transition to a low carbon economy. Now, there's a common belief that electrification is mostly for big miners. How do you support smaller or regional players in adopting? electric mining solutions? Yeah, good question. Actually, I tried to touch on that when we were talking about our four areas that we are focusing as a Schneider um, uh, for, for cap main capabilities. One of them is that for us, for our solutions, they are not dependent on the scale. We recognize the unique challenges faced by a smaller and regional miners. So Schneider Electric addresses this by offering modular and scalable solutions that can be implemented in the incrementally to suit their operational scale and budget. Additionally, our flexible financial models, such as energy as a service, significantly reduce upfront capital requirements, enabling smaller operations to um, to use the elect electrification or to implement the electrification in a uh, in an economical way that uh, makes sense for them. That is uh, coupled with our localized support networks and our open architecture approach. We ensure that electric solutions are practical and accessible for all sides of mining operations. Well, understood. Thank you for that. Now, since mining is a long-term endeavor, how does Schneider Electric's whole of life cycle approach help ensure a smooth transition to electric systems and sustained operational resilience? That that's a brilliant question to me because at the end of the day, what is understood about the energy transition, which is a big journey, a long uh, journey, is no one can do it uh, today or tomorrow on their own, and it needs to be the collaboration, collaborative approach, and it needs to look through the whole life span of the life cycle. So that being said, our life cycle approach involves partnering, closing with clients from the early design phases through the implementation operation of um, ongoing maintenance and optimizations. For example, Schneider Electric uh, dis digital solutions enable predictive maintenance and continuous monitoring, significantly enhancing operational resilience. This proactive approach minimizes downtime, manages risk effectively during the transition to electrification and ensure sustained efficiency and reliability throughout the mine's operational life cycle. 
not there is no need to emphasize that at the end of the day we our main mission for our clients uh, for mining clients is that making sure they have sustainable and trustworthy operation and not this transition and switching from the assets that they already for years they are working on diesel to any new uh, source of the energy is going to impact their production so that's why we do it with these steps of knowledge and understanding how and um, when that transition needs to happen so finally, Ella, what would you say is the biggest obstacle preventing fully electric mines today? And how is Schneider Electric addressing that challenge? Mm. So we can we can have a different lens to answer this question. When we call something is obstacle, it means that it's at least to me, it means that okay, something is stopping us to do some to to reach to the goal. To me, there are some uh, maybe bumps to in that road which i think in any road in any journey you are the the, the road is not going to be just a smooth definitely this is the big change and there are some there are some maybe um challenges i will call i i appreciate to call it challenges and the most significant challenge currently is ensuring reliable and consistent energy supply. As I was trying in, to talk about in my previous, uh, answering the previous question is that the consistency and the trust for the energy supply sitting on top of our challenges when we are thinking about any change. Schneider Electric is, is actively addressing this issue through our advanced microgrid technology, integrated renewable energy sources, robust battery storage solutions, and intelligent energy management softwares that we have. These solutions ensure a stable, resilient, and sufficient energy overcoming what is often the most critical barrier to achieve the mine electrification um, concept. Well, Thank you, Ella, for coming on today. It's been a real pleasure. Today, I've been speaking with Ella Kashi, Global Principal Mining Consultant for Schneider Electric. I'm Dom Hale. Thanks for watching.